welcome back to Wicked Wands Tarot. My name is Carmen, and today we're going to do a reading for Virgo on Are They Cheating? Let's call in, <laughs> let's call in spirit with some wind chime time. And I hope, despite the theme of today's reading, that you're doing really well, Virgo. I'm really stoked to finish this up. This is my last reading for the signs, and then I'm going to go try to enjoy some of that good weather that we actually have here in Minneapolis. <laughs> Pretty sure the rest of you would be like, 50 degrees? That's not good weather. Fuck you. <laughs> All right. I'm going to start off today with the uh, Bianco Nero deck. We'll figure out what's going on. And at the end, I'm going to use a homemade deck. I haven't used it for you guys. Um, just got some thoughts written down so we can understand how the other person is thinking. So the first card out today is the Fool. So it looks like we've got somebody who is embarking on a new journey. I'm getting vibes of somebody who's left behind a relationship and feels pretty confident that they knew what was going on, but they haven't really gotten like evidence or like confirmation that what they think went down actually went down. But they had to make a decision regardless. What else do we have for Virgo, please? Ooh. And we've got the sun here to tell us that we've got something, some piece of information that has been hidden is coming to light. So there's something that is going to no longer be a mystery here for you. And then the number five may be important to you, Virgo. Otherwise, you know what I'm seeing is those are V's, like V for Virgo, right? So we've got the five of wands and the five of pentacles here. There's competition and I think also a little bit of gossip and a little bit of jealousy. I think what actually is leading to this feeling left out in the cold situation is somebody was unnecessarily insecure. And the timing wasn't right. We've got the Seven of Wands here to tell us that it just wasn't the right time. All right, we're going to use the Egyptian Tarot to get a little bit of more clarity here for you guys. What else do we have for Virgo? We have the Knight of Wands coming out. Knight of Wands is a fast-moving energy, but it's also a little bit flighty, a little bit unreliable, right? Um, beyond that, we've got the King of Pentacles and the Two of Pentacles. So it looks like we did, in fact, have some juggling happening here, Virgo. We've got um, someone who is trying to offer stability and something long term, but another person was hiding the fact that they were still juggling someone. I kind of feel like it's someone from the past, not like a brand new person. So like maybe an ex that they hadn't gotten over. Five of Wands, please. So we've got the moon coming out. This is a card that really does speak of secrets. It's right next to the Two of Pentacles. So I know this juggling situation was pretty like under wraps. However, with the Five of Wands, I think it was only under wraps until somebody started spreading some gossip about it. So. For example, let's say a coworker saw an inappropriate touching moment at work or something like that, then things started to kind of spread around, right? Tell me about this five of pentacles, please. Oh, is this five of pentacles for Virgo, please? So here we've got the judgment card coming out again, you guys. We definitely need to pay attention to the fact that there's going to be karma here for the person who was um, wronged and for the person who did the wronging. <laughs> and then we also have the Ace of Chalices. So being left out in the cold is the karma for someone here, but we also have we also have a love offer not too far down the road here for someone else for some the person who was cheated on it looks like there's something waiting here for you like a divine counterpart maybe let's see all right 
So I cannot stress this enough. We definitely have a lot of fives coming out here, Virgo. So this also might be just tied to change because five is all about change. And then with the five of cups, which by the way is crying over spilt milk, we also have the three of swords. So there is an urgency or like a there's a rush here right a rush of emotion and what you don't see is this is really upsetting and difficult to go through right now Virgo but you're going to be blessed with something far better than what you have lost right now so we have the magician coming out to clarify the two of Pentacles Virgo, you were dealing with somebody here who was really good at manipulating the truth or I'm just going to say gaslighting. I, I definitely think this is somebody who knows how to play with uh, words and prey on your emotions to obfuscate the truth and not have to deal with any accountability. Tell me more about the moon, please. Yeah, see, we've got somebody here who's um, immature with the... Knave of Pentacles, which is the page, by the way. We're talking about somebody here who they don't really know what they're doing, okay? They're, they're still kind of a novice, and they might have some issues with their heart chakra. There's definitely an issue pertaining to honesty here, and somebody who's refusing to let go of something that they need to let go of. So Virgo, make sure that you're communicating openly and honestly, and if something is not good for you, then you need to release it. All right, let's get to those hidden thoughts here for you, Virgo. <laughs> My hands are too small for these cards. That's the real reason I don't use them anymore. <laughs> what do we have for Virgo, please? Whoop. All right. Hmm. Okay, so we have two conflicting energies here. The person who cheated. I act like I love you because I'm using you. And I love you more each day. So the person who wants to believe things are going well is the person who feels like things are getting better, but they're not. I think you will hurt me. I actually get the impression that this is a thought that's shared between the two of you, Virgo. I think both of you have gone through quite a lot. It's just hard to trust people to do right by you because you've been through so much. <laughs> All right. What else do we have for Virgo, please? Virgo, we've got, <laughs> I can't stand you, but I need you, and challenge accepted. So, I don't really like this attitude. This is somebody who is feeling like things won't actually work out, but they think that they can force the situation to benefit them. And I really hope you're using your intuition and discernment here, Virgo, because I want to make sure that you're doing whatever is in your own best interest. So definitely make sure you're taking care of yourself. All right. I hope you found value in today's reading. And thank you again for all the support. Have a great day.